Chapter 3 How Best to Create a Healthy and Harmonious Lifestyle The Greatest Wealth is Health Virgil In this chapter, I will teach you how to create a healthy and harmonious lifestyle. To create a healthy daily routine, you need to align yourself with nature's rhythms to facilitate the body's natural processes of digestion, detoxification, healing, maximum health and longevity with periods of activity, including mindful movement, and periods of rest, including a healthy sleep routine. Nature moves and flows in patterns of rest and activity. The rhythms of nature are the circadian, the 24-hour cycle of night and day, seasonal, the 12-month cycle of the earth around the sun, lunar, the monthly cycle of the moon around the earth, and tidal, the gravitational influence of the moon on water. The circadian rhythm is a 24-hour cycle of night and day. You have doshas, or bioenergy centers, derived from the five natural elements, air, space, water, fire, and earth. A combination of each element results in three doshas. In Ayurvedic medicine, each of the three energies Vata, Pitta, and Kapha circulate in the body and govern our psychological activity. The best hours for the Vata dosha are from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. and from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. The Vata dosha is creative, productive, and high energy. The best hours for Kapha dosha are from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. and from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. The kapha dosha benefits from a daily exercise routine early in the morning. The best hours for the pitta dosha are from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. A pitta dosha has a strong agni and enjoys deep sleep. Go to the following link for a fun video on lifestyles based on your own doshas. The link is bit. ly forward slash 3PD capital A 7J capital F. The Ayurvedic concept of fire, or Agni, is critically important to our overall health. Agni is the force of intelligence within each cell, each tissue, and every system within the body. If you do not know your dosha, mind-body type, go to the following link. Take the quiz and enjoy. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Chopra dot com forward slash dosha dash quiz. The seasonal cycles. Seasonal influences may affect your level of balance. Vata season. Late fall through winter. Vata balancing techniques counter the effects of seasonal influences. Vata doshas favor warm food and drinks, and sweet, sour, and salty tastes. Vata doshas need to reduce pungent, bitter, and astringent tastes and dry and raw foods. They need to stay warm, grounded, and hydrated. Kapha season. Late winter through spring. Kapha balancing techniques to counter the effects of seasonal influences. Kapha doshas favor a lighter diet, warm foods, and drinks. They need to eat more pungent, bitter, astringent tastes and dress to stay warm and enjoy daily enlivening exercises. Pita season. Summer through early fall. Pita balancing techniques counter the effects of seasonal influences. Pita doshas favor cooling foods and drinks of sweet, bitter, and astringent tastes. Need to reduce sour, salty, and pungent tastes. Avoid overheating when exercising. Use cooling aromas. Times of change. During times of seasonal changes, it is best to simplify your diet during times of transformation. Occasional fasting can be a useful tool. Nourish yourself and cultivate peace and clarity by releasing negative emotions. Journaling is highly recommended. 
Enhancing Life Force. Here are a few ways to enhance your life force. Gaze into the night sky, space. Walk in abundant vegetation, ideally at dusk and dawn, air. Allow the light and warmth of the sun to permeate you, fire. Walk along with natural bodies of water, water. Walk barefoot on natural earth, earth. And do pranayama practices. Mindful movement. Exercise for balancing the three doshas. Essential components of a complete fitness program are flexibility, strength, and cardio. Vata balancing. Tai Chi, yoga, walking, short hikes, light bicycling. Pita balancing. Brisk walking or jogging, swimming, biking, snowboarding, skiing, and outdoor activities. Avoid overheating and avoid being overly competitive. Kapha balancing. Enjoy vigorous and longer workouts and movements. Running, cardio, dance, rowing, active yoga, and weight training. As you practice the Ayurvedic lifestyle, observe how these daily practices help you cultivate a lifestyle to support your physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Integrate the optimal daily routines. Stay in harmony with the changing seasons. As a kapha, here is my optimal morning routine. Awaken without an alarm clock at approximately 6 a.m. Drink a glass of warm water. Empty bowels slash bladder. Brush teeth slash clean tongue. Oil pulling, an alternative mouthwash practice. Oil pulling is an alternative medical practice in which an edible oil is swished around the mouth and then spat out. Cleanse nasal passage with neti and nasa. Perform flexibility exercises slash mindful movements slash yoga. Meditate and practice pranayama. Oil massage slash bathe. Eat a nutritious breakfast with awareness. Perform morning work slash activities. As a kapha, here is my optimal noon routine. Eat lunch, largest meal of the day, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Sit quietly for 5 minutes after eating. Walk for 5 to 15 minutes to aid digestion. Perform afternoon work slash activity. Meditation and pranayama in the late afternoon. As a kapha, here is my optimal evening routine. Eat a light dinner at least 2 hours before bedtime. Sit quietly for 5 minutes after eating. Walk for 5 to 15 minutes to aid digestion. Enjoy light activity in the evening. Minimize intense mental work and electronic stimulation. Aim to be in bed with the lights off by 10.30 p.m. My restful sleep. As a kapha, I aim for a 10.30 p.m. bedtime. With all lights and electronics off, practice calming pranayama and gentle yoga. Have a soothing self-massage and a warm bath with lavender, and avoid caffeine late in the day and alcohol in the evening. I enjoy drinking herbal teas, such as chamomile, and reading inspirational slash spiritual literature. I also enjoy journaling to download my thoughts and the events of the day. I write down what I am grateful for daily, which is a form of recapsulation. I read inspirational or spiritual literature. Once in bed, I close my eyes, tune into my body and breath, and easily fall asleep. The quality of our sensory impressions, ears, skin, eyes, tongue, and nose, determines our thoughts and feelings. The ears, skin, eyes, tongue, and nose are the gateways through which we experience the world. To balance the mind, focus on the sense of sound, smell, and sight. To balance the body, Focus on taste and touch. The doshas are tuned into nature. Vata relates to sound and touch, pita to sight, and kapha to taste and smell. Balancing your doshas through sound. Sound can create harmony within your mind, body, emotions, and spirit. Sounds of nature have vibrational qualities. 
Mantras have specific meanings and purpose. Music is invigorating, calming, and soothing. The chakra sounds are awakening practices, and speech enables conscious communication. Go to this link for an inner pharmacy video about balancing out doshas through sound. bit.ly forward slash 3M capital X capital L capital W A capital Q. Balancing our doshas through touch. Regular massage and loving touch detoxify the body's tissues. A daily self-massage is an important aspect of daily routine because it calms the mind, improves circulation, and enhances immune function. Nourish your body with oils to balance your dosha. Vata likes heavier, warming oils, such as sesame or almond oil. Pita enjoys cooling, soothing oils such as coconut, sunflower, or olive oil. And Kapha favors light, warming oils such as sunflower, safflower, or mustard oil. Balancing our doshas through sight. The images we ingest have a profound effect on our physiology, including our mind and emotions. Images and patterns can increase or decrease balance and harmony. Images of nature are calming and balancing. Violent images create imbalances. The balancing colors for each dosha are as follows. Vata likes earth tones and mild pastels. Pita favors cool, soft colors, such as light blues and greens. And Kapha prefers bright colors like reds and oranges. Balancing our doshas through taste. According to Dr. Deepak Chopra, Ayurveda believes the six tastes should be consumed every day to promote balance within the body. Vata should focus on more sweet, salty, and sour tastes in their diets and limit pungent, bitter, and astringent tastes. Pita needs sweet, bitter, and astringent tastes more than pungent, sour, and salty tastes. Enjoy the colors of the rainbow and a wide variety of fresh, organic foods that support your Agni. Balancing our doshas through smell. Aromas connect us to emotions, memory, and instincts. We can link a healing response to the experience of a particular smell. Use specific aromas for each dosha. Vata favors floral, fruity, warm, sweet, and sour, such as basil, orange, geranium, clove, vanilla, and patchouli. Pita favors cooling and sweet, such as sandalwood, mint, rose, jasmine, and lavender. Kapha favors stimulating, spicy, and aromic, such as eucalyptus, camphor, juniper, clove, and marjoram. Balancing our doshas through laughter. Belly laughter enhances immune function. Laugh and enjoy the experiences of life. You can bring more laughter and joy into your life by setting the intent to laugh more. Make a resolution or set the intent of laughing heartedly as often as you can. Setting a goal to laugh more is as important as setting the goals to get more exercise, eat healthier, and drink more water. It is possible to become the person you want to become and create the life you want. One of my clients, Stephanie, was having a problem finding a way to balance her health with her work. I helped Stephanie to find inner peace by asking her when she woke up in the morning to, instead of rushing carelessly into her hectic day, feeling stressed and overwhelmed, instead spend the first few minutes sitting in purposeful silence, meditation, and reflection. Her morning routine included yoga, deep breathing, and saying a prayer of gratitude to appreciate the moment, or praying for guidance on her daily activities. You too may decide to try your first few minutes after waking up on reflection and meditation. As you sit in silence, you are totally present in the now. You can calm your mind, relax your body, and allow all your stress to melt away. You develop a deeper sense of peace, purpose, and direction. I will help you create your own daily affirmations to remind you of your unlimited potential and your most important priorities. As you focus on what is important to you, 
your level of internal motivation increases. Reading over the reminders of how capable you are gives you a feeling of confidence. Looking over what you are committed to, what your purpose is, and what your goals are re-energizes you to take the actions necessary to live the life you truly want, deserve, and know is possible for yourself. During your morning routine, try closing your eyes or looking at your vision board and visualizing. Your vision could include your goals and what it will look and feel like when you reach them. Visualize the day going perfectly, seeing yourself enjoying your work, smiling and laughing with your family or your significant other, and easily accomplishing all that you intend to accomplish for that day. You see what it will look like, you feel what it will feel like, and you experience the joy of what you will create daily. Also, I highly recommend that you take a few minutes to write down what you are grateful for, what you are proud of, and the results you are committed to creating for that day. By doing so, you put yourself in an empowered, inspired, and confident state of mind. I journal every day at the end of the day and enjoy all the serendipities and feel grateful for the many challenges and blessings that I experience each day. One of my clients, Jackie, did not particularly like to read every day. As part of her daily evening routine, now she enjoys reading self-help books and invests a few minutes reading a page or two. You too can appreciate reading as a form of relaxation and learn a new idea and as something that you can implement into your day. You may discover something new that you can use to be and feel better. There is a growing body of scientific research documenting the benefits of practicing pranayama on a regular basis, including reduced anxiety and depression, lower slash stabilized blood pressure, increased energy levels, relaxed muscles, and decreased feelings of stress and overwhelm. Mind-body interventions are beneficial in stress-related mental and physical disorders. Current research is finding associations between emotional disorders and vagal tone, as indicated by heart rate variability. Wikipedia's definition of vagal tone is the activity of the vagus nerve, the 10th carneal nerve, and a fundamental component of the parasympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system. This branch of the nervous system is not under conscious control and is largely responsible for the regulation of several body compartments at rest. Vagal activity results in various effects, including heart rate reduction, vasodilation slash constriction of vessels, glandular activity in the heart, lungs, and digestive tract, liver, and immune system. Per the National Library of Medicine article written by Richard P. Brown and Patricia L. Gerbarg, a neuropsychological model of yogic breathing proposes to integrate research on yoga with polyvagal theory, vagal stimulation, hyperventilation, and clinical observations. Polyvagal theory studies the body's neurological responses in relation to fear, stress, trauma, and anxiety in a new and groundbreaking way, while being well-researched and evidence-based. Yogic breathing is a unique method for balancing the autonomic nervous system and influencing psychological and stress-related disorders. Many studies demonstrate the effects of yogic breathing for brain function and psychological parameters, but the mechanisms have not been clarified. Sudarshan Kriya Yoga SKY, a sequence of specific breathing techniques, Ujjayan, Bastrika, and Sudarshan Kriya, can alleviate anxiety, depression, and everyday stress, post traumatic stress, and stress related medical illnesses. Mechanisms contributing to a state of calm alertness include increased parasympathetic drive, calming of stress response systems, and neuroendocrine release of hormones and thalmatic generators. Stress constantly creeps into our lives. It can come from frustration of a traffic jam or a confrontation with a partner. Stress can be spurred by money worries or spiked by a sudden health scare. It can exact a toll upon you physically, emotionally, and psychologically. Stress is a fact of life, but you determine how it affects your life. You can counteract the damaging effects of stress by calling upon your body's rich potential for self-healing. 
Stress management, a special health report from Harvard Medical School, is packed with strategies you can use to rein in the runaway changes unleashed by stress. To obtain a copy of this report, you can go to the link https colon forward slash forward slash www.coursehero.com forward slash file forward slash 8541950 forward slash 3 dash str tess dash management dash textbook dash p52 pdf forward slash Stress management will help you explore cognitive restructuring, a strategy to change the way you look at things. You will find how to challenge negative thoughts and avoid jumping to conclusions. And if you have heard about the power of visualization and meditation but don't know where to start, the report will show you. Learn how to identify the warning signs of stress. It will alert you to the dynamic roles of nutrition and social support. It will give you tips for coping with caregiver stress, work-related stress, and stress from conflict with others. And you will find three rewarding mental exercises that boost happiness. Learn to nurture yourself and use mindfulness to reduce workday stress. The Harvard Medical School issued a publication about how best to manage stress. For more details, go to the following link. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.amazon.com forward slash stress dash management dash approaches dash preventing dash reducing forward slash dp forward slash 161401058710587. Yoga breathing is an important part of health and spiritual practices in Indo-Tibetan traditions. Considered fundamental for the development of physical well-being, meditation, awareness, and enlightenment, it is both a form of meditation and preparation for deep meditation. Yoga breathing, pranayama, can rapidly bring the mind to the present moment and reduce stress. A yoga breathing, meditation, and longevity paper was published by the National Library of Medicine. It reviews data indicating how breathwork can affect longevity mechanisms in some ways that overlap with meditation and in other ways that are different from but synergistically enhance the effects of meditation. It also provides clinical evidence for the use of yoga breathing in the treatment of depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder and for victims of mass disasters. Go to the following link for more details https colon forward slash forward slash p-u-b-m-e-d dot n-c-b-i dot n-l-m dot n-i-h dot gov forward slash one nine seven three five two three nine forward slash yoga has many health benefits for example coherent breathing is a form of breathing that involves taking slow breaths at a rate of about five per minute. According to an article written by Arlene Kunzik and Sarah Clark, published in Very Well Mind, coherent breathing, or deep breathing, helps to calm the body through its effect on the autonomic nervous system. The health benefits of coherence breathing include decreased anxiety and depression, improved sleep, strengthened immune function, reduced inflammation, and increased resilience. To receive the full benefits, practice mindfully, then relax and sit quietly for a few moments before slowly resuming the activity. Sit comfortably on a chair or on the floor. Your eyes may be opened or closed. Place the hands on the belly if that feels comfortable. This will allow you to feel the belly move out on the inhale and in on the exhale. Relax the belly to let the breathing be effortless. Inhale, letting the belly expand into the hands for a count of four. Then exhale, letting the belly gently draw into a count of five. Repeat this pattern and continue in this way for another three or four breaths. Another yoga breathing method is the Nadi, channel of circulation, Shodhana cleansing method. 
This breathing method clears your emotional blockages and toxins, infuses the body-mind with energy and oxygen, harmonizes the brain's left and right hemispheres, reduces feelings of anxiety, and improves stress management and sleep. To receive the full benefits, practice for 5 to 10 full rounds each day, consciously and mindfully, before each meditation, and whenever you want to cultivate a sense of calm and balance. Sit comfortably with a straight spine, with your left hand comfortably on your lap. Rest the tip of the index finger and middle finger of your right hand in between the eyebrows. Close off the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale slowly through the left nostril to the top of the breath. Then using the ring and pinky fingers to close off the left nostril, release the thumb and slowly exhale through the right nostril to the bottom of the breath. Then inhale through the right nostril to the top of the breath. Next, place the thumb back over the right nostril and release the ring and pinky fingers to exhale through the left nostril to the bottom of the breath. Repeat this pattern for a few rounds. My favorite yoga breathing is the Ujjayin, victorious breath. Gentle and rhythmic breath produces a pleasant, soothing sound, like the sound of ocean waves that calms and cools the mind, releases feelings of irritation or frustration, mildly warms and energizes the body from the core, and creates a stabilizing influence on the cardiorespiratory system. To receive the full benefits, practice for 5 to 10 full rounds each day, gently, smoothly, and mindfully. Sit comfortably with a straight spine with your left hand comfortably on your lap. With the mouth gently closed, take an inhalation through the nose that is slightly deeper than normal. Next, gently constrict the muscles at the back of the throat and exhale through the nose. This should produce a sound like the waves of the ocean. Keeping the throat muscles constricted, inhale again through the nose and exhale through the nose. Repeat this pattern several times, gently and without straining. Another way to master this type of breath is to exhale the sound with the mouth open, as if trying to fog up a mirror. Now make this same sound with the mouth closed, which will give the desired sound. In summary, I have taught you how best to create a healthy and harmonious lifestyle by observing how your breathing is affected by your thoughts and your thoughts and physiology are influenced by your breath. Live in gratitude for the primordial vital force that sustains you in every moment of your life.